In this video, I'm going to show you what every permission in a text channel on Discord means. I'm going to divide my screen in two just so that you can see both things in action, right? So I have the permissions are going to be down here and then the channel with another user up here. Right. First overview, we have two channels. They're both basic text channels. So we have two users. This is the administrator at the bottom, and this is just a normal user with no roles whatsoever. So let's jump right into the permissions. Before I do so, I want to create a role so that you can see the effect of every permission. So I'm going to go to roles and I'm going to go down, create a role, test role, right? So I want to save the changes, give it a little color because why not? Okay, so I have the test role and I'm going to give it to this person right here, test role. So this person has that role and now you're going to see the effects of every channel in here. I'm going to click permissions and I'm going to add this role to the channel. And now let's go ahead and play around with these permissions. So basically any permission that I play around with here, it's going to affect this person because it, they have that role. For example, the first permission is view channel. It means that that person will not be able to see that channel if I deny the permissions. Let me show you. Click the X and I click save changes. Channel disappears for that person. So now they cannot see that channel, right? Let's click the the bar, the bar in the middle, uh, it's like default. So first let me go on the basics. The X of course means that you will be denying the permission for that person, for that role. The line in the middle, I'm gonna go a little bit more in detail on it in a minute. And then the, the right, it means that you are approving that permission for that role. So for example, if I were to deny the view channel for everyone, like meaning every person in the role, I were to click the X, now no one can see that channel. But if I leave this permission on the middle, like the default, it means that it will not override what the everyone role has. So the everyone role is the default. So whatever you do here is what's gonna take place for absolutely everyone in that channel. And then additional roles, they override the permissions of the everyone. So if I approve, now, this person will be able to see this channel. And as you can see, it has the little private lock because everyone does not have access to this channel, only those with that role. So that's what the bar in the middle means. So basically, let's just revert back to normal. I have the test role. So we went through the view channel. So now you know what these buttons mean and what the view channel means. So manage channel. Basically this user, when I right click on this channel, I only have mute notifications and invite people. If I click on manage channel, this person now will have the ability to edit this channel. For example, I can change the name, right? of that channel but i only have overview and invites you know so now i can change the name of that channel right um that's what manage channel means if we go manage permissions now this person will have the ability to manage the permissions of this channel so i now i have edit channel and as you can see overview i cannot change it um, because that's on, on the manage channel permissions like changing the name in the description but the permissions now i can actually change the permissions of this channel so this is something that you will give like a mod or an administrator yeah so the next one is manage webhooks i talk about webhooks in this video it's up in the corner go check that out create invite so if you would like for this person to not be able to create an invite for this channel then you can deny that permission here for example if i am in this server and i click on create invite then the invite link is going to be generated to the channel that i am currently in right now so if i go to this channel and then i create an invite then the invite will be generated for the channel sergeant instead of the channel general so if i don't want people to create invites on this channel then I just click here where it says create invite and now I don't have the ability to create an invite to this specific channel but if I wanted to do so on the other one then I could you see so that's why I created two channels so that you can see the difference now let's go to send messages um, this one is a bit more obvious right like if I don't want people to send messages in this channel I just oh, you don't have permissions to send messages right that's a bit more obvious um, we have embed links. Embed links, it doesn't mean that you will not be able to send a link. What it means is that you will not be able to get the little preview of the link. Uh, let me gather a link real quick. Okay, for example, I found this tweet. I'm gonna paste this tweet, right? 
So as you can see, I have the link for the tweet and then down here I have the embed for the link, right? So if I remove this link and then I deny the person to embed links, then if I paste the tweet again, it will not generate that little embed, right? So if I give the permission again and then I send the tweet again, then it comes with the embed. So that's what embedding a link means. Attach files. This is basically just sending any attachments on your Discord server. Let me find like a picture or something. So I have this picture of a cat right here. So I'm going to send it. Oh, yes, you see, I was able to send that file. But if I click on attach files and then, you know, I remove this one then I will not be able to send any sort of attachments, whether are audios, you know, or images. So as you can see, it won't drop and I don't even have the icon to attach a file, right? It's not anywhere. So if I give myself the permission again, then the little plus icon shows up so that I can actually send those files, right? So that's what attach files mean. Add reactions. If I send a message to whatever message, then to every message I can add reactions to it. But if I deny myself the permission to add reactions, then the icon just disappears and no reactions will be able to be added. Um, that's helpful when you have like a poll or something that the reactions are limited and you want people to only react on the reactions that are already there. You want to avoid people adding extra reactions. So that's what this one is helpful for. Use external emojis. Basically, as you can see, I have Nitro, so I can add um, emojis from a different server. If I don't want people using reactions from a different server, I can just deny this permission, and now only the reactions from this server will be able to be added. You see, I don't have the bar to select reactions or emojis from a different server because I denied this option here. If I go to the other channel, then here I do have that bar. You see, all the other servers. So that's what that this one means. And we have mentioned that everyone in are here. Um, basically, if I don't deny this permission, I can ping absolutely everyone in this server. And as you can see, I have the yellow tint because I pinged myself. But if I deny this thing right here, then if I do it again, I don't even have the suggestion when it comes up, everyone. So as you can see, I manually typed everyone and it didn't give me the yellow tint because it didn't ping me or anyone else. If you're not familiar with these, when you do at everyone, it will send a notification to everyone in this server. At here will send the notification to everyone online in this server. As you can see, I have the online status, but this one has do not disturb. So I will not get a notification if I am on do not disturb. But everyone with the online status, you can change right here they will get a notification and all roles basically you can ping a role as well so if i wanted to ping my role but well first i will need to take this off right so that i can actually get the suggestion so i go at and then test role everyone that has that role will be pinged in that server so if you want to deny all that then this is the one for you um, manage messages that means being able to delete a message of course i can delete my own messages and you cannot override this like you cannot restrict me from deleting my own messages in your server um, but for example if i were to send a message myself hi let me go back channel permissions this role manage messages right here so if i were to try to delete this message i wouldn't be able to but if i were to give myself this role the the ability to manage messages now i can delete the messages sent from other users that's that's what that does right um read message history basically when you deny this one people will not be able to see what was sent in the message before they logged in so let me show you I am going to deny this permission. I can still see what was sent there earlier, but if I log out and I log back in, then I will not be able to see what was sent there before. Let me try refreshing. So as you can see, I refreshed the page and now those messages are gone. But if I type again, those messages are going to show. I will be able to see them. And um, if I refresh again, messages are gone but it doesn't mean that the messages are not there they are there like for example if i get out i will be able to see them but it's easier for me to just revert this permission and now you will be able to see all the messages let's refresh as you can see all the messages are there right so that's what that does um, let's go send text to speech 
So this one right here, it's denied by default. Text to speech means that whatever I type on forward slash TTS will be read by the robot, by the speaker thing. So if I were to delete this and I were to allow myself send text to speech, then I go forward slash TTS and then the message, hello, bruh. Professor, Professor Alex, Alex said, said hello, hello bruh. bruh. <laughs> So yeah, it sounded twice because I am logged in on both users on the same channel. Basically, when you do text-to-speech, anyone that is focused on the channel, meaning that they are active in that channel, like reading it, will hear the text-to-speech. So if I were to go out and I were to leave, then I would not be able to hear the text-to-speech. Forward slash TTS. Hello, bruh. Professor Alex said hello, bruh. You see, I didn't hear it from this one because I wasn't focused on that particular channel. And then the last one is to, um, very related to this other one as well, is using slash commands. This one is not disabled by default. You can do slash commands activity, for example. So as you can see, I can do activities and then the channel, you know, whatever channel I want. Basically using these functionalities is what, uh, for example, shrug, you know, it makes that shrug. So if I deny myself the use of slash commands, then I won't be able to do, for example, the activities. I'm still able to use these, for example, you know, on flip or like flip the table, stuff like that, because as you can see here, these are built in. If I do spoilers, um, hello, it's the same thing as doing the bar bar hello bar bar like those are built in from discord so denying the use of slash commands basically just denies the use of bots and stuff like that through the slash commands so activities nothing comes up but if i allow myself to use the slash commands then sport slash activities does come up and you know what this is just remove the role from the channel so basically i think we have covered all the permissions for the text channels um, on your Discord server. If you have any section, leave it. If you have any section. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. And I will probably do another one with the voice channels as well. So uh, stay tuned for that one. Please subscribe and like this video. I hope you're having an amazing day. And thank you very much for watching. Stay safe out there.